Hey everybody, welcome to the latest edition of Sketchy Go Ichi. I'm your humble host, Roger Andrews, artist, illustrator, designer, content creator. And the content I'm creating for you today is a beginner's guide to Procreate, that wonderful app on the iPad that you can download and become a absolute master at painting or drawing or sketching. Um, the app doesn't do it itself, so I'm gonna give you this little step-by-step -step guide, small bite-sized videos on all the tools and, and how to use it, and I'm gonna take away and eliminate all the intimidation factor to learning a new app. So, stay with me and enjoy. Sketchy Go Ichi. All right, let's dive right back in. So, beginner's guide to Procreate. Here are the tools. We have our I trusty, trusty iPad Pro, 12.9 inch screen. This is the original iPad Pro, believe it or not. So this is, this is old school, this is old tech. All right, we have our Apple Pencil, which I think is a must, <laughs> you know. However, you can use your, your fingers if you, if you like. Okay, and I don't even know if there's an alternative to using an Apple Pencil for rendering on the screen. Again, we have the Procreate app. And for anyone who's seen the intro video, I show you how to essentially open up a blank document in which to work on. I also even touched on using the brush tool. I'm gonna to dive a little deeper into the brush tool for this one, specifically how it reacts on screen. So as a recap, we're gonna to go to our brush tool. It's already highlighted in blue. You'll notice there's a collection of tools that run across the top of the app and these two guys on the side. I'm gonna tell you what they are and what they do. But first off, you'll notice whenever you click on any of these various little uh, sort of toolbar items, you will actually see them illuminate in blue with the exception of gallery, which will bring you out to the kind of the main screen. But they'll even, and essentially these top ones will bring you these little drop down menus and they'll have the little specific details that are signed. And actually, if you notice, some of them have this lower bar that that react to them being activated okay the lower bar things every single element of this is helpful so just bear that in mind okay so brush tool it is selected by simply clicking on it with your uh, the tip of your apple pencil or your finger either way will work um and when you do again to recap here is your list of your brush library this is all the varying different brushes you can see that each one is represented by an icon that, um, or should I say, it's just sort of a, uh, a sample image of what that brush looks like. Or should I say the, you know, if you were to lay down one simple bro brush stroke, this is essentially the effect. You have all these sort of calligraphy and touch-ups and textures and, you know, watercolor and water splats and abstract images, everything. It's all reflected in this brush palette, right? What's great about the library of brushes, you can add to them, you can take some away, you can create your own custom brush sets, you can, do, you can create your own brushes themselves. There are ways to go in and alter every single brush in here. Guys, this, this is what's most powerful about Procreate. So, I don't, again, I don't want these to be intimidating, so we're gonna select a brush. Um, I do a lot of my work in the uh, inking world, drawing and inking one. So I'm gonna select the ink brush because it's the most comfortable. Um, matter of fact, the one that was already selected is Ink Bleed. I like it, so we'll work with that. Um, all right, so once you've selected a brush, you can click anywhere on the screen. If you just gently click from there onto the screen, it won't add a brush stroke. <laughs> you know, now it's ready to add brush strokes, okay? So as a recap, our slider over here, this is brush size. So for an example, here's a little brush stroke. That's at the midpoint. We go a little higher. Same brush strokes, same pen pressure. Way thicker. We go lower. Same, same, same pressure. Amount of pressure applied to the screen, or should I apply through the Apple Pencil to the screen? Creates a much lighter stroke just simply by using this slider. Okay. This is your opacity slider. Um, opacity meaning the um, intensity of color applied to the screen. Um, it, it, the luminosity or well it's transparency it is what it is it's transparency it's it's uh can you see can you see through it 
or is it opaque and it cannot be seen through? Okay, so here's where I apply a really opaque stroke, brush stroke. It's, it's midway point. Okay, as dark as it's ever gonna get, I will apply maybe up to the lower end of the opacity scale. Ah, it's much lighter, All right? But that's not the that's not the major part of it. It's the fact that it actually, if you notice, it's better rep represented here. See how it goes over top of that other color? Or should I say gray? It's all gray. So see how it goes on top, but it, it kind of shows the line underneath through. It transparent. It's um it's more see through. So there's one stroke, one on the other, across the two of them. But you notice how it's picking up what's underneath. It's actually, it's like, it's almost like if it's watery almost. It, it's um, translucent. It's the only way I can describe it. I, I can use as many different terms, but it is what it is. All right. So, and so now if I raise the intensity of it, if I create a line, then if I go on top of it, it'll go over top of it. And you won't even see that at all. So let me do that again. So we'll lay one line on top. You don't see it because it's really dark and intense. It's opaque. It covers the line underneath. So we'll do one darker one, and then we'll go, uh, we'll drop it down way low. You can't see it at all. Better way to show it is probably do a lighter line, right? Then a darker one on top, right? And then we'll go back to the lighter one. Let's see if we can. I don't know that we can see it too well there, but hopefully you'll get you're getting the gist. It's just transparent, it's less intense um, concentration of color. All right, that's it. No more. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna pump that back up. I'm gonna bring this brush back down, and um, we are gonna eliminate all these lines. The way to do that is just hold down two fingers. Two fingers on this thing are great. All right. So two fingers eliminates it, gets it. If you just hold down, it brings you right back to your starting point. Okay, so brushes. That's, <laughs> that's my uh, long-winded recap. All right, so we've selected a brush, we selected a size, we selected a uh, opacity level, and the last step of a brush, just, just the usage of a brush, is the pressure, the amount of pressure you apply. This is where you control it. This is where your skill comes in. Okay, so we know that this is an ink pen, so it's generally ink pens, um, the way I like to have them, I like to have them have a taper, a sort of a, a thick and thin um, quality to them. You can see, it's a thick and thin quality to it. There's, a, there's sort of a taper at the end of the brush, and generally it starts with a thickness, okay? Again, two finger taps are your undos. Um, two finger tap on the screen will undo. I should really re refresh and reiterate that over and over again. That is your best friend in this tool. Two finger tap to undo. You're gonna see that many, many times here. All right, so pen pressure. Here's how it works. If you apply light pressure, you create a light line. Again, note, this is just about the midway point in this, in the, in the slider, in the uh, brush size slider, okay? So it allows me to go uh, to apply more pressure to create a thicker line. So look at, oh, sorry, sorry about the dashed line there. So there's our thin line, there's a slightly thicker line. This is just me applying a little more press, pressing down into the screen just a touch more with the Apple Pencil, okay? So that's creating that thicker line. So now if I press a bit harder, it's gonna create a thicker line. And without putting, <laughs> putting the pen tip right through the glass screen, this is the hardest I can press and create the thickest line possible based off of this size of brush that I selected. That's the thickest. That's me pressing down the hardest it'll get, okay? Actually, we'll press down the lightest I can get, see if I can get one even lighter. Let's see if I can get one even lighter than this one just by barely touching the screen. Not much lighter. But anyways, so pen pressure. That's what happens when you apply, this is the skill part of using the app. This is the part you're gonna have to practice for those who are new at it, um, for those who like to render in ink. Matter of fact, for even those who love to paint, you wanna be able to control the media that you're laying down on the page. 
okay? So again, two fingers, just hold them down, right? And it'll bring you back to the beginning stage. It eliminates all of the last strokes that you've, um, that you've done all at once. So be mindful of that, right? Um, so same deal with other basic shapes, uh, you know? So say I wanna create a shape. This is all within the same line, okay? All within the same line. So start off light and start getting thicker and thicker. There's just more pressure, more pressure, more pressure to the end, okay? So I'll go the other direction. Um, so we'll start off thicker and we're gradually allowing the pen to come up off the surface. It's coming, it's coming off the surface, it's coming up, 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 and then gone, right? You can see how the line, based on the amount of pressure you put down, becomes less intense or more intense, right? Make sense? Okay, again, two fingers, hold it down, it gets rid of everything, okay? We'll do it with another basic shape. We will uh, we'll start at the top at the lightest. Okay. And then we will, again, start at our lightest and pressing down more, pressing down more. Okay. Lightest. Pressing, 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 pressing. Harder, harder, harder. And that is how we create that um, effect. And that can be used in anything you draw. Any single thing you draw will use pen pressure. You get it? You got it? Good. <laughs> okay. So just to reiterate, to recap on our way out, um, again, we'll show, actually, we'll show it with our finger. Why not? Okay. Light touch, gentle touch. Heavier touch. Doesn't work so well with the finger as I'm seeing here. Perhaps maybe the, that's why they sell these Apple pencils. Okay. To be honest with you, when I use my finger, it's generally um, <laughs> to have the purest form of the brush. Like literally when you lay, when you touch something with your finger, what it does is um, it just gives you essentially the brush at its, whatever size it's preset for. for but if you hold down with the pencil, it, um, the technology is, is reading that, that pen pressure. The finger, it, all, it just gives, you know, whatever the base size of that brush is. So this is an important note. I'm glad I kind of stumbled upon that. Again, I don't know everything about this app, but this, this much I do, I, I'm learning, and I want to share with you guys. But so, so if I press down lightly, or if I hold, or even lighter, get little, these little dots become smaller because I'm applying less tap to the screen, and denser if I hold down. If you can see the difference, okay? So, next step, logical step in learning Procreate is learning brush stroke, which brush tool to select. The, of course, adding on to before, the sliders that represent the brush size and the opacity, and then pen pressure, or brush pressure. How thick and how thin, wafer thin you wanna get, is essential in how you use the brush. Got it? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you see, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel here. It's Gachi Goichi. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, wherever. But for now, Sketchy Goichi. Live your moment. Happy sketching, y'all. Peace.